Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about some of the global ethical issues. And myself, Dr. Randy Rupchen, I'll be talking about some of these ethical issues and how companies may respond to some of these problems. I hope you will enjoy the video. So some of the learning outcomes for today, we will link the ethics to sustainability. Second, we'll provide some examples of the global ethical issues. And we will also discuss some of the responsiveness of companies to some of these global ethical issues. So now we will see the concept of ethics. First, what we can understand is that ethics is the whole process of taking decisions which are considered to be morally right. Uh, then what we also need to understand is that not all unethical issues are necessarily illegal such as gambling so gambling is unethical but still it is legal so, which means the law allows gambling in many countries now relating ethics at a global arena now what we understand by that especially from a multinational company. Global ethics is an area of critical ethical inquiry into the nature and justification of values and norms that are global in kind and into the various issues that arise such as world poverty and international aid, environmental problems, peace and security, intervention and human rights. So when we are talking of global ethical issues, we are talking about how to achieve a world which is sustainable where you know we are dealing with the global challenges such as environmental problems dealing with poverty and also protecting human rights so the concept of cultural relativism what it simply states is that culture varies from country to country and therefore as ethics is part of the culture it also is it is also relative so in a way what we can just say when we are in Rome we need to do as Romans now just as an example for 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 example charging interest in in certain Arabian countries is considered to be uh, unethical but then it is quite normal in other countries so because in Arabian countries they use the Sharia law The next question is, should we be concerned about global ethics? Uh, so I think yes. And some of the, you know, explanations for, for this is first, it's fundamentally about humanity. So, and we're all concerned about humanity. Secondly, global is ethics is also about protecting human rights. It's also about protecting our planet. It's about our value system because ethics is, has to do a lot with our values. And it's also about protection of wealth and the whole planet. So there is the economic sustainability as well. As we have seen, companies which are unethical, they are not sustainable in the long term. So, so it is very important that companies uh, take you know, the ethical pathway. As just said, it is important to achieve economic, social, and environmental sustainability. So the main discourse, therefore, about global ethics is about achieving sustainability, and I think the Millennium Development Goals, the Sustainable Development Goals, they all talk about how to achieve a better planet, a better world to live, where we are fighting poverty, we're reducing inequality, and at the same time, we are tackling some of the big challenges of the world, such as environmental problems. So in a nutshell, sustainability is about protecting the free peace, the planet, the people 
and also the profitability because without profits without growth there will be no employment as well so global ethics it seeks to achieve sustain sustainability in a way where companies play the game you know we, they are you know, they are contributing to the betterment of the world and the society so let's talk about some of the global ethical challenges uh, which the, the businesses face I think one of them is child labor. In many companies, they make use of child labor to cut down the cost. We have the issue of bribery and corruption, especially in, in developing countries. But that has been also in the case in developed countries also. Uh, we should not also forget the environmental challenges uh, that the world is facing, global warming. Uh, there is problems of pollution so there are very important challenges which can affect the overall sustainability of a company and which companies should look at with a very serious note other ethical issues which companies uh, have to face are respect of human rights we have seen especially multinationals when they are going in developing countries where people are being uh, not being given their for example proper accommodation and so on uh, wage rates where the minimum wage rates are not being respected or employees are being underpaid there's also about different workers rights uh, as identified by the ILO many companies also engage in misleading advertising uh, pro false promises and so on and lately with the emergence of digitalization we have the issue of data protection and digital governance uh, especially we've seen cases of for example for with Facebook making use of personal data you know which might not be so ethical at an international level in this slide we will see some uh, illustrations about global ethical challenges in pictures so this was the case of Nike which made uh, use of child labor uh, at a particular point in time and where their reputation was affected uh, we have cases of corruption we have the issue of gender equality this is a Rana Plaza building which was completely uh, crumbled down as they do not respect the health and safety norms and you, the last one you can see how uh, pollution is, is 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 a big problem as a multinational company you can also face many human resources uh, issues for example uh, a global company may face problems of discrimination because it employs people from different uh, countries health and safety issues uh, problems of compensation between ho home and host countries restructuring and layoffs privacy of employees privacy issues where the data protection have not been respected uh, employee responsibilities and so on Another important problem is that of bribes and grace payments, uh, especially at the for multinationals, where companies need to provide grace payments to officials for so 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 as to speed up certain projects or transactions. Now that problem is very relative, but especially it, it, it's a big problem in developing countries, where they they might not be appropriate checks and balances. So, uh, as a global and multinational company, we, we need to tackle these bribery and grace payments which may affect our image and may also lead us to certain legal problems if we do not deal with them effectively. 
So one of the fundamental question is how to improve global business ethics. And I think the starting point is to respect the fundamental international rights of employees and of people. There are different rights which are mentioned in this slide. For example, the right to physical movement, the right to ownership of property, the right to freedom from torture, the right to a fair trial, the right to non-discrimination, the right to physical security, the right to freedom of speech and association, the right to minimal education, the right to political participation and the right to subsistence. I think if companies and you know even countries they can take the right actions to ensure that these rights are protected, it will already be a big step towards achieving global business ethics because the bottom line of ethics is human values and human rights. But then all multinational companies, they face one big dilemma. The dilemma is that of, you know, reconciling the pressures from the home country stakeholders with that of the host country stakeholders. As we can uh, imagine, different countries, they have different value systems, they have different legal, you know, uh, frameworks, which can have in impact on the decision making. So as a global company, we need to know how to reconcile these differences in the most effective manner. In this slide, we find different approaches of, to deal with this ethical dilemma. One is that of ethical imperialism, where the company would apply the home country values, standards and ethical standards you know, in, in the resolving any conflicts or ethical problems. The other approach is ethical relativism, what we call cultural relativism, where we will try to adapt to the ethical and moral standards of the host country. But then uh, some companies would go for the mix of home and host country standards because as we, can, as we might uh, realize, there might be no, no best way of, of dealing with with ethical dilemmas and problems. So uh, we need to see what is the best way around. And we can also look at the international laws and global codes of conduct when uh, we are kind of having a you know middle of the way approach in dealing with the global ethical problems. So now we will see how to improve global ethics and as we say actions speak louder than words. So let's see some actions that companies can take. So first companies can develop what we call a global code of ethics, especially if they are a multinational company. So the code of ethics, they will provide guidelines, they will provide ethical standards for employees to apply in different circumstances. Secondly. Companies should take appropriate sanctions and corrective actions when employees are not complying with the standards, or then, or they have taken, you know, done some, taken some blunt, done some blunders. Uh, the company should also provide ethical training for staff because that will help to improve their understanding of ethical ethics and how to take go about take, taking decisions. It will help them to understand the, the notion, ethical concepts, theories, and so on, which will be very helpful. And then a company should also be, you know, uh, uh, value-driven, values-driven, because values will help the company anchor and, you know, take, you know, the right pathway uh, based on, uh, you know, moral grounds, so that uh, decisions are effective for for the company and they are sustainable at the same time now let's consider some other actions which the company can take uh, apart from what we've discussed i think the laws are very important especially in the protection of human rights uh, companies should also lobby and should also promote you know uh, right regulations Companies should work on ethical decision-making processes and, uh, you know, taking into consideration uh, the society and, you know, the, the, you know, different rights of different people at the same time. Uh, 
it's also important for the company to develop sustainable management practices and these practices should be based on the triple P's people planet and profits so what we call the triple bottom line when we are taking decisions so companies should be very very careful so we should not only look at profitability but uh, a, 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 as we say a balanced scorecard approach companies should promote greater accountability transparency and good governance and uh, nowadays internationally there is this trend of improving reporting practices uh, reporting practices where we are saying we should not only report financial performance but also for example uh, submit our sustainability report uh, and, and uh, actions that we have taken during the year so we have now come to the end of the video i hope that you like the video thank you should you have any questions you're most welcome